the sign of Virgo, hello and welcome to my show note. And we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll find out what the outcome is. So Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Five of Swords and it's with the Magician. Now the Five of Swords... With this card, you could find yourself with some mixed feelings. Could be about a few people in particular, or maybe a person, or maybe life. But don't ignore these feelings. Also, make sure not to speak every word you're thinking and feeling either, as you could ruin the very things that you want the most such as close, intimate relationships with your friends and your lover or your lover. So when you get the Five of Swords, it's important to think several times before you really let someone have it, even if you know they deserve it. You gotta pick your battles. Now it's with the Magician, which is another card that is an indicator of new beginnings and great expectations. So this card, it actually reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in our lives and in the world if we simply try. Just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate. But you have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself. And I say this because the magician is all about action. So if you do nothing, you'll get nothing. And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So once again, the recent past energy, five of swords clarified by the magician. So, Virgo, what I, the message that I'm getting is that you're dealing with someone, this recent past energy, um, this person, they, they wanted a new beginning with you. Yeah, they probably tried to manifest something with you, some type of connection. They probably... This person probably was being strategic and planning, and you probably were not aware of this. But it looks like, because the Five of Swords is with the Magician, I'm getting that it, 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 it has not worked. Yeah, your person wanted to get something started with you. That's what the Magician is saying. But it looks like it... it I'm getting for a lot for a lot of you it's it didn't work for your person. So five of swords is saying that this person is upset. Yeah. Five of swords is about conflict, being mad, angry, not happy. Yeah, so somebody's mad that this a connection did not work out with you. Put it that way. But let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you okay so we got the empress and it's with the seven of swords now just know when you see the empress she's the type that does not play by the rules she has her own way of doing things her own idea of what is right and what is wrong in any and all endeavors now this does not mean she'll always get her way but she's a reminder not to ignore your creative, your intuitive side. It signifies coming abundance. But don't make the mistake of thinking, of thinking that this will help always mean financially. And I say this because there's many types of wealth and riches in life. And money is only one of them. And as the Empress she can have it all. The Empress can encompass any or all of them. 
It's a very potent time for love as the Empress because you could find men and women alike all of a sudden finding you far more attractive, both in terms for friendship and romance. Now, so with this Seven of Swords, now the Seven of Swords can be about someone behaving with less than ethical intentions. So, if you feel like someone is spying on you, then you could be right. Or if you feel tempted to dig through someone else's life, unless it's that of your minor child who has given you cause for concern, then you just might want to rethink the impulse. Because we all know that everyone deserves privacy. So coming up for a long, Empress clarified by the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so the message that I'm getting, like I said, you, you got someone that's interested in you. Very much so. Um, I guess they don't know how to go about it, or maybe they realize that it's going to take more work than, um, than they thought, but, um, or maybe they realize that you're not really, um, giving attention to them. It could be something that's causing them to be upset. Maybe they are seeing you with other people, but they're upset for some reason. Um, they want, this person wants to get something started with you. Um, so they do a lot of watching you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords, the card below the word present, they watch you a lot. Um, that's a stalker card, stalker, stalking, stalking or stalker card in the tarot. So this person could be keeping tabs on your social media accounts, um, driving past your house, maybe calling and just to hear if you pick up. Um, it's not in a it's not in a bad way. They're just trying to figure out how to get next to you. This person is very attracted to you, very much so. They see you like the Empress. Yeah, they're drawn to you. Um, but like I said, they could be getting upset because for some reason they're, um, the Five of Swords can be about conflict. I don't know, did you two, did they, maybe this person said the wrong words to you and you're pushing them away. Five of Swords is being mad, so let's see if we can get some more clarity on this because it's kind of like not really saying why this person is mad. Okay, so let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. Now, we've got the Queen of Wands, and it's with this King of Swords. Now, the Queen of Wands can refer to a woman who could have a lot of fire type of energy. This person could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, when not referring to an actual person. It can stand for getting a lot accomplished. There could be a focus on work, career, family, or romance. The Queen is actually a positive, uplifting energy. Now, if she does stand for an actual person in your life, she's actually a good friend who is solidly on your side, even though she could seem a bit self-absorbed. And if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in a reading, well, this is one of the most positive signs that there can be. Now, it's with the King of Swords, which can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. It could go either way. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially if this card does not represent a person in your life. So, you might want to consider the feelings of others before you act. 
Yeah, this King of Swords, it's a very forceful energy. So you may not be able to get this person or man in your life to change his mind or do what you want. So you might have to change something major about your behavior, your thoughts, and or your expectations, but don't overextend your reach. So the challenge, Queen of Wands, clarified by this King of Swords. The message that I'm getting is that Yeah, I'm just, I'm getting that this person is very determined. Because the Queen of Wands is, is very determined. She, she could be egotistical, used to getting what she wants, very confident. And she knows her worth. So you got someone that's coming at you, or they'll be coming at, at you in January. This could be happening now, or it might even go into February, because time is forward when you get this, these readings. Yeah. So, for some of you, I just want to say this, because I'm getting another download here. For some of you, this magician could be you. You could be trying to manifest a new life or a new beginning. Or you could be trying to just do something. Maybe having some fresh ideas for, for, for the new year coming up. And, but you're dealing with someone that's, that's upset with you and they're causing a lot of conflict. Somebody that's, um, that's not happy with something that happened in the connection. But it looks like you're trying to create a new beginning, maybe with someone else, or just overall with life or the new year. But you got somebody that could be coming at you with con conflict and drama. Um, it's saying that this person is very attracted to you and they watch you all the time. Yeah, they could see that you're trying to move on and have a new life without them. So, that's the other storyline that I'm getting here. And it's showing that they'll be very determined. They find you to be a bit arrogant with this King of Swords here. They think that, um, yeah, they think that you're very, you're a forceful type of person. They could consider you to be stereotypically manly, um, the type that will overstep their bounds. So, yeah. So why would this person want to be with you if they find you to be like that? Mm. That's interesting. Maybe, I mean, I'm getting another download here. For now, it, it seems like maybe it's just conflict for now. They want to maybe get get next to you or get near you to get some type of resolution. Um, yeah, your person is the type that they're ready to explode. They want to get next to you so that they could resolve some issues, some problems. But it looks like you're trying to move in another direction. This person is attracted to you. They could have deep love for you. Because the Empress is about deep love. They're very determined to get the issues resolved. But they find that you're being very arrogant about it. You're very stubborn about it. And you may not be opening up to letting them have their day with you. Looks like they want they want a day with you just to blow up. Yeah. That's I'm getting a few storylines. 
it's starting to make me feel like this reading is all over the place. But anyway, I hope it's making sense to some of you. But let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the Four of Wands. And it's with judgment. Now, the Four of Wands, it can indicate that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating. Go, because you'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's going to be going well. And you'll be proud of yourself when you get the Four of Wands. Yeah, although this is a positive card in a reading, it does show that there is going to be a need for you to keep your wits about you. Although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know you're still in a building up phase, and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. With the four of wands, you could be thinking of moving or changing your place of residence. Now, it's with judgment. Judgment is a card about jumping to conclusions, decisions, and of course, judgments that are made too hastily. So if you know you're prone to doing such things, this is a sign to actually slow down, maybe. Give things more thought, people more chances, maybe. This could also be a time of spiritual awakening. So your outcome, Virgo, four of wands, clarified by judgment. Okay, so the message that I'm getting is that, like I said, your person has deep love for you, but they, they want a day when they can just, oh, just let you have it. They're so pissed at you about something. Something your person is just, oof. Smoke is blowing through their, with their ears and, and nose. <laughs> if you look at the Five of Swords, this is a card about the word pass. This man, he's running around with two swords in his hand. He's got three on the ground right next to him. He will pick them up and use them if he has to. There were people sitting there at that fire. But when they got a glimpse of him, they all scrammed. This is how your person is feeling, Virgo. Somebody wants to explode on you. They want to blow up. They want to they wanna fight you, Virgo. But they see you're being very controlling about it, like this King of Swords. You're probably not letting them come anywhere near you. And you're trying to manifest a new life, a new, brand new year. It looks like you want a fresh start. And it's probably... Not with them. That's what I'm getting. For some of you, your person wants a new start, but they need to let you have it first. They want a new start with you, but they need, they, I can't stress it enough. They need to blow up on you. That's how they're feeling. They're, it looks like they've been holding some stuff in. They just want, they want to, they want you to open the door. Yeah, so they can let you have it. But you got that huge sword up in your hand. I'm getting for a lot of you, you're not letting this person come anywhere near you. You're being, you're being like the king of swords. And you'll cut them out really forcefully if you have to. They're very determined. They see you as someone that they could have wanted or they still do. Because the outcome is showing the four of wands. The four of wands is actually the marriage and commitment card. 11, 11. This person wants something long term with you. But they need to get some steam off their chest. Because they, they, what they're doing now is they're watching you. And you're, you're not letting them come anywhere near you. And if you are, you're being really cold and abrasive. And you're cutting them with, with your words. King of Swords doesn't really need a sword. This person is so, so harsh. They'll get and cut you with their words. And that's what you're doing to this person. Yeah, so they watch you and they're being very judgmental. 
That's why the judgment card is there for the outcome. Yeah. So the person needs to. It's showing that you need to let. You need to let your person. I want to say have it with you, have it out with you, because they're steaming mad. They got love for you. They wouldn't be so mad if they didn't. The Empress is about deep love. So, Virgo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope it made sense to someone. It's just, I kept getting too many, too many different storylines here. So, I tried to put it together. So, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified. When I post my next reading, I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself. Best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? I think I already said that, right? This reading has my mind spinning. I was... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is there's a link for personal readings. Also, if you want to try one of those. So, Virgo, thank you so very much for watching. I hope that um, you all are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Hang in there. It's going to pass. We're all going to get through this, so stay strong and take good care. Please come back and join me for the next Virgo reading. Just in case this did not resonate, maybe the next reading will. Keep in mind, the roles can be switched. Yes, you could be them, or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could be a friend. Could be a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. Just take the reading for however it resonates. Because, like I said, these are general readings. These are not personal readings. So, take it for however it resonates. So, Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I wish you all of you Happy New Year's. I hope to see you at the next reading. Once again, have a great day and take care. And have a great day and take care. And have a great day and take care. And have a great day and take care.